This is truly a great movie with great performances from Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutchinson, Liam Hemsworth, Julianne Moore, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and all the other actors and actresses that are in this film that did a really good job. The Mockingjay Part 2 is essentially the end to the franchise that we've all sort of warmed up to by now and, and have loved and still love. Like, this might have been the last movie but it doesn't mean that we can't stop enjoying the Hunger Games series. This is a really good film with a lot of tension which is one of the many good things about this movie. It's very tension filled because you know you're, you, you're in for one heck of a tension filled ride by just the opening scene of this film. This movie does go into some deep stuff and it re it really kind of gets sad, which isn't really a bad thing. Like, you're meant to be invested and this movie does quite invest you. It, it seems like an episode, like the last episode of, of a season or whatever, like the final episode of a complete series. It, it kind of feels like that and it's because of that that I thought this movie would be very action-packed. I thought anyway that it would be similar to the last Hobbit movie. It is actually better than that in its sense that it doesn't chuck action on top of action on top of action at you. As with the first movie there is a little bit of um, propaganda stuff happening in this movie. Not quite as much as the first one because that's you know that's what the first one was about. This one is the end. It's all about the tension and stuff. But there is still a little bit of propaganda stuff in it. But I think Cadness really speaks on our behalf when she says that she's tired of the propaganda stuff. She just wants to get the job done. She wants to finish this war. She wants to get it over and done with. Like, obviously, honestly, I agree with her. Like, I didn't quite like the propaganda stuff in Mockingjay Part 1. I didn't like it as much as the last 20 minutes of Part 1. Jennifer Lawrence is Cadness. Everdeen. Like there's a scene where a train is um, coming toward her and everyone else around her. Some stuff happens and then she, it's just the scene, it's, it's, was not a tension filled scene but it still gave me chills. She is Cadness, you are with her in this fight and they've always uh, really successfully sold us on being with her on this journey. Now all the war stuff and the fighting and the, all the death and destruction that's going on, for me anyway, it felt real considering recent events that have happened overseas. Um, I'm not saying that uh, what happened overseas made the movie better, I'm just saying that everything that was happening in this movie w was basically reminding me of recent events and it was, it felt very real. Like I was watching and I was thinking, this stuff is happening right now. Now, the ending of the movie was very Lord of the Rings. If you've seen the final Lord of the Rings movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you're sort of sitting there like, oh, that's a pretty good ending. Oh, no, no, sorry, it's not ended. Oh, no, that's a good ending. Oh, no, sorry, that's the ending. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. And then you're sitting there like, hmm. What's the best ending? Oh, I don't know. That one, that one, maybe that one, I don't know. I don't know which ending of the one movie I like more. This movie had that over-prolonged ending, which I gotta say is kind of a setback from how the last movie ended, which was just so tense. Now, obviously, in a, like, a movie that ends all, there is some deaths. I'm not gonna say who died, but there is some deaths. So, get ready for some deaths. Okay, death, death, death. But as a minor, like, average fan of this franchise, uh, it is a very satisfying ending to such a great franchise. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this movie review. A little announcement for next week's review. Next week, I'm doing a review for Creed. It's basically a spin-off from Rocky, which I grew up with Rocky in my childhood. Uh, my dad loves Rocky. So that's what uh, him and I are going to go and watch and I'm going to come back and do my review for it for you guys. You can look forward to that. Please do stick around for it. Um, and like and comment down on this video. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified when I upload that movie review. And so that you get notified for any other videos that I do. Okay. Bye.